Hi there, and welcome to day 27 of Vlog Every Day in April. Today's topic is the chakras. What are the chakras? The chakras are the wheels of light, energy centers, that are associated with various locations on our bodies and also various systems in our bodies. For the purpose of this video, we're going to forget about the systems they're associated with. We're going to talk about their metaphysical purposes. Okay? So, there are seven main chakras. There's the root chakra, which is either located at the perineum or at the base of the spine. There's the sacral chakra, which is located at the sacrum or just below the navel. There's the solar plexus chakra, which is located just above the navel, or it can be associated with the location on your spine directly behind that. And then there's the heart chakra, which is located right in the sternum, right next to your heart, right in the center. Okay, and then our throat chakra, our third eye chakra, or soul eye chakra, as my guides call it, and then the crown chakra. Okay, so those are the seven main chakras that are associated with our physical bodies. What are they for? What are they associated with? The root chakra is associated with survival, with ancestry, with groundedness, with almost anything to do with abundance. So think of financial security, for example, a place to live, and the food on the table, okay? The sacral chakra is associated with non-ancestral relationships, passion, creativity, sex, sensuality, and then the solar plexus chakra is associated with our personal power. And aligned with that, it could be called our intuitive hub. And again, this is my understanding. This is mostly what I've learned from various sources and then added to that my own working with my chakras and what I've noticed about them for me and also what my guides have expressed to me. So you may, you may know differently, you may feel differently and that's completely fine. The heart chakra associated with love. Love for self, love for others, love as a whole. The throat chakra is associated with communication and truth. So communication doesn't have to just mean vocalizing anything to do with communication. So that can mean writing anything, okay? The third eye or soul eye chakra is associated with clairvoyance. It is our intuitive eye. The crown chakra is the chakra that opens us to our spirit, our soul. So that's pretty simple. That's our spiritual connection, basically. So those are the seven main chakras. And for those of you who are wondering why is she saying chakra instead of chakra, it's because when I was taking energy science in college, my professor was adamant about the pronunciation of the word. He explained to us that there is another Sanskrit word pronounced chakra, 
that has nothing to do with these wheels of light. The pronunciation for those wheels of light in Sanskrit is chakra. Okay? So I am going to go into a little bit of how I work with a chakra system. The chakra system, when it's functioning optimally, can support us both metaphysically and physically. Metaphysically speaking, it can support our intuitive senses. It can support our overall spirituality. Let's say that your throat chakra is shut down. If it's shut down, your ability to clearly communicate is going to be definitely off kilter. And in fact, it might almost feel as though you've lost your voice, not in the sense that you can't vocalize, just that you aren't able to express what you really mean. You aren't able to speak your own truth. That can be a consequence of a dysfunctional throat chakra. What could be the consequence of a dysfunctional heart chakra? An inability to give and receive love. An inability to offer yourself love. Fear of relationships which require your heart. So I'll ask you to imagine what might happen with the other chakras that I haven't spoken of in a dysfunctional way, if they are in dysfunction? What do you suppose would happen if your solar plexus chakra was in dysfunction? How would that affect your personal power? How would that affect your overall intuitive abilities? How would that affect your trust for yourself? If your root chakra is in dysfunction, how would that affect your feeling of stability, real or imagined? So if we can visualize our chakra system, which if you're a visual person, you absolutely can. If you're a non-visual person, it might be more that you can feel them. You might find that they resonate with a vibration or a sound. So play with those concepts. Let's say that we take this moment to tune into our heart chakra. Take a look at it, take a look at it, if you can, or just feel into it. How is it feeling? So I'm checking into my heart chakra Yeah, and I will say, so my vision is actually flooding with like a rosy pink color, different from my blouse. And that's fine, except that typically when I visualize my heart chakra, I see this really vibrant green. So I asked internally, is my heart chakra closed off to some extent? and I got a yes on that. So it would be easy for me to work with energy healing and just repair it without doing any further exploration about what has created the dysfunction. However, that isn't helpful. At least it isn't helpful for me. So when I lean into why my heart chakra would be in some dysfunction right now, well, I just heard the word tested. <laughs> so what's being tested? My self-love is being tested. Yeah, I know exactly where that's coming from now that that's come forward. And my question to my guides is, may I, may I repair the energetics and then deal with the questions and answers. Yes. So now that I've identified the source of the dysfunction, I'm going to 
and I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of action happening in my heart chakra right now. Um, so I can just take my hand, put it over my heart center, my heart chakra, and intend that it be cleared because it's it, it feels murky, it feels dense to me, and that's not how it's optimal to feel for me. So when I intend clearing, and notice how my hand now wants to come away from my heart center. Yeah, and I'm still not seeing the green I'm looking for. However, I can tell that there's a shift happening. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's just really important that I do this. And I will say sometimes it will be a lot faster than this. Um, Oh, by the way, I'm feeling energy right back through my spine. We'll talk about that in a minute, too. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I was just asking, is this going to clear up? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, okay. And there comes the green. mix with purple. It's very pretty. <laughs> and I will say the purple is a common color for me to be involved with any energy work. It is a vibrant purple and I associate that with my crown chakra, with my spiritual connection, my soul connection. Okay, I think we're all set. Ooh, boy, I'm sorry, I didn't, I really didn't expect that was going to be that prolonged. However, that felt good. The sensations that I was feeling, it was almost uncomfortable. Um, I felt like there was a lot of repair work being done, and I just heard it's because I, I was cracked open a bit over the past couple of days because of some other work that I'm doing, and so that's a direct reflection of that. Um... And I mentioned that I was feeling the energy right through to my spine. When I visualize the chakras from the side of a person, when I'm doing energy work, I oftentimes will see it as identical funnels meeting in the middle and then widening out. So widening out to here, widening out to the spine. And one thing I want to mention, again, this is just my visualization of it, when you visualize your chakra, it may not be a perfect circle. It may not be a circle at all. I've had at least one person visualize their chakras and see, I just heard distorted, you had distorted shapes. And the thing is, their chakras were fine in function. It's just that the way they presented, it wasn't this, you know, perfect circle. It had different curves to it, different, it was a completely different shape. So try not to expect your chakras to look a certain way. One thing I'll mention too is I mentioned seeing both pink and green associated with my heart chakra. And heart chakras can present that way. For some people, their healthy heart chakra might present as a beautiful pink color. It might be more along the lines of, say, rose quartz or something like that, okay? Or it could be brighter, bubblegum pink. <laughs> it could also be a beautiful, vibrant green. The throat chakra, 
will typically present in a shade of blue, usually a pretty bright blue. So think of like a robin's egg blue or a bluebird blue. The third eye or soul eye chakra will present typically as an indigo color. Sometimes for me it skews more toward purple than toward blue. Actually mostly it skews towards purple <laughs> more than blue, like amethyst in color. And then my crown chakra, that is also a purple color, but it's a much more vibrant purple, more along the lines of, I'm just scanning my desk to see if I have anything that represents the color, and I don't. Like the intensity of this color, only in purple. Solar plexus chakra, yellowish, goldish in color. Sacral chakra, orangish in color. Sometimes it'll show up like an orange, other times it might be more like a tangerine, so like a darker orange color. And then the root chakra usually shows up as a beautiful ruby red color. So that's the basic chakra system, the main chakra system. We have a number of minor chakras associated with our bodies as well. The only ones I'm going to mention today are our palm chakras, which are our healing chakras. And for me, mine tend to show up as a goldish, like a topaz color. And sometimes while they're showing me right now, yeah, there's, I see the topaz, but I also see like a ring of white light around it. And then my soul chakras, S-O-L-E, so those chakras at the bottom of my feet, and those tend to show up almost like a smoky quartz, some, something between, let's say, a smoky quartz and amber. And then the soul star chakra, which is about 18 inches above our head, that's not associated with our body. However, it feels important to mention it. And usually like a pinkish, whitish color. And then our Earth Star Chakra. And for me, my Earth Star Chakra, it definitely looks like smoky quartz. It skews towards that brownish color. It's very vibrant though. So that's just to kind of get you started, and I'd love to know what you associate chakras with, and what color you visualize your chakras. I'd love to know if you've visualized one of your chakras and it presents not as a wheel of light, instead as a different sort of shape. I'd, I'd love to know that. Very curious. So that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, you take really good care. Lots of love.